Hello, and thank you for joining us for another video about the I-81 Corridor Improvement Program. I'm Dave Covington with the Virginia Department of Transportation. I'm the I-81 Program Delivery Director, and we're here today to talk to you about a, a really important project that really is becoming one of our flagship projects for the Corridor Program, and that's the widening from exit 137 to exit 141 in the Salem District. And behind me is the interstate right now. We are at the Traffic Operations Center overlooking a portion of the corridor that we will be widening. And this project is extremely important because it really kicks off our larger corridor widening projects. This project is slightly unique in that it, it uses a design build delivery method instead of a traditional, what we call design bid build. And design build is when we enter into a contract with a builder who is partner with the designer so that we can maximize innovation and hopefully deliver this project more quickly. There are a lot of key features of this project that I think people are going to be very interested in. Um, first of all, we are widening from two lanes to three lanes in both the northbound and southbound direction. In addition, we're also replacing six bridges through this section of the corridor and rehabilitating and widening two bridges. Everybody knows that, that our infrastructure is getting older and being able to replace these six bridges uh, gives us a big advantage with delivery of this project. In addition to that, the project will include sound walls along the northbound lanes in strategic locations, uh, and it will also include interchange lighting. And now I'd like to introduce you to one of the people who is helping to deliver this project, Francis Scarponato. All right, thanks, Dave. My name is Francis Scarponato, Virginia Department of Transportation. I'm a transportation engineer. The main goal, the purpose of this project is we want to increase driver confidence in the interstate. We want people to know that they're going to get where they're going safely and that they're going to get there when they want to get there. To do that, we got to increase uh, safety and reliability. And when I'm talking about reliability, I'm talking about decreasing crashes, congestion, and then delays due to crashes. There's a number of improvements. Dave mentioned the widening, so we'll be adding the additional lane mostly to the inside. We're also uh, modifying the southbound exit 137 off-ramp intersection with Wildwood Road. Uh, we see a lot of backups here, especially during peak hours, and that's due to vehicles turning on to Wildwood, having to stop and yield for traffic that's already on Wildwood Road. So what we're doing is modifying the pavement and creating a right turn lane that flows directly into the right lane of Wildwood Road. Uh, so this should reduce the congestion in that area. Another important improvement from a safety aspect that I don't think we talk about enough is including the wider paved shoulder on the inside. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow people to get all the way off the interstate on both sides in emergency situations. And then one other thing, for the on and off ramps, we are extending the acceleration and deceleration lanes. And this is going to help because it's going to allow drivers to get up to speed before entering the interstate. And then it's also going to allow drivers to get out of the travel lanes before slowing down when exiting. So it should help the overall flow of the entire corridor. And that's the most important thing is making for consistent travel speeds. We don't want slowdowns. We don't want stop and go traffic. And these improvements are going to go a long way to accomplish that. Some of the differences you're going to see, the pavement width is going to be probably 60 to 70% wider than it is today. 12 feet of that will be the new lane. And then again, the additional 10 to 12 feet is going to be the wider paved shoulder. You're also going to see median barrier along a portion of the project between the southbound and northbound lanes. So one of the benefits with the wider shoulder is we're going to be able to clear crashes faster and more efficiently. And this is going to reduce the backup time and hopefully the number of backups we get. So we're going to actually be able to keep Virginia moving. 